this wall was long uh, walking along it was a, it took a long time when I first got here in, in 2019 at the end of 2019 and it's what always strikes me when I'm walking this wall is how long you go with panel after panel after panel with these with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures and at Russia's full-scale invasion it was one of the many manifestations of the horror of it when this part of the wall started to grow and uh, and if you look at the faces from 2014 and you look at the faces here they're very different and I think it also shows the scale the enormity of the tragedy um, because it's not these are not formal military pictures that are taken when you join the military these are pictures put here by loved ones the last pictures that they had of them the best pictures that they had of them the other thing you see is a lot more women a lot more women's faces um, uh, people from their their professional backgrounds, again, not, not professional military. So this wall shows us that Russia's full-scale invasion in February of 2022 has encompassed the whole of Ukrainian society. Ukrainians have wonderful ways of memorializing their dead, and you see this in social media. You see pictures of small children carrying uh, carrying birthday cakes to their father's graves. Uh, you see children coming up and, 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 and kissing their, their father's picture, their mother's picture. Um, and so um, that's, I mean, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking, um, but it's also, um, it's also, I guess, in some way good to see. Here, it's, it's flowers. You see people sitting on these benches, just looking. And you see a lot of people crying, actually. Um, so this is a really important place and I think the fact that when world leaders come to Kyiv, they come here and in coming here they stand beside this woman who's grieving the loss of her husband, uh, this man who's grieving the loss of his grandson. So it's those people and Prime Minister Trudeau come to the same place and spend a few moments in that same space of of loss and tragedy and, uh, and horror.